Hello there, kindergarten friends. This week, we are learning about plants and flowers. I have a poster behind me that shows us the different parts of a plant. Let's take a closer look. You can see that below the ground are the roots. The leaves are above the ground, as well as the stem and the flowers. I also have a drawing of three different types of flowers that grow during the season. Tulips, daisies, and daffodils. But today, friends, I wanted to read you an informational book. It's all about flowers. Let's get to it. All right, kinder friends, we are ready to start learning about flowers. The book is written by Claire Throp. And this is an informational book. And kinder friends, oftentimes in our informational books, you will see a table of contents. Now the table of contents will help the reader know what information they're gonna learn about in the book. Here are the chapter headings and the page numbers where you can find that information. Today we're gonna start with what are plants on page four. So let's get started. What are plants? Plants are living things. Plants have many parts. Now this page, I'm noticing that it is teaching us the different parts of a plant. So let's take a closer look here. My first label here is seed, and I'm noticing that the seed is below the ground, as well as the roots. And the roots are this string-like material you see here. And they are below the ground as well. Above the ground, I see this leaf right here. And the stem, which is this long green, um, it looks like a straw here, but it's, actually, it's, it's what holds the leaf and it's what holds a flower. Now, on the top of the plant here is a flower. Now, what do plants need to grow? Plants need water to grow. Boys and girls, this plant here you see, this is called a bromeliad, and you find it in ponds. It is also known as a lily pad as well. And you might see a frog sitting on these lily pads in a pond. Plants need sunlight and air to grow. There's that sunlight. So I'm just going to stop and think about what I just learned. Well, I learned that plants need water, sunlight, and air to grow. What are flowers? Many plants grow grow flowers. So this photograph sh is showing you the different plants and the flowers that grow from these plants. Some plants have one flower. Some plants have lots of flowers. Like this picture here. And these little flowers. Flowers make seeds. All oh, these little seeds here in this flower. New plants grow from seeds. So here it is, it's emerging through the soil. The new plant. Petals. A petal is one part of a flower. If we take a closer look, you notice there are water droplets there. And there's a label. Now, I'm also noticing, kinder friends, that there is, this word is bolded. Now, 
the bolded word means that you can find more information or what this word means in a glossary. And the glossary comes at the end of an informational book. And you can find that word there and it's going to give us a little bit more information of what the word might mean. Let's continue reading. Some flowers have purple petals. Wow, this is a beautiful orchid plant, my friends. One of my favorites. Look how beautiful the design on this orchid plant is. Now, some flowers have red petals like this rose here in this photograph. Some flowers have patterns on their petals. Just like our orchid plant had that pattern. And it has like purple stripes on it. Shapes. Flowers can be different shapes. Some flowers look like a ball. Like this photograph here. Some flowers look like a heart. Some flowers look like a star. So, they're so beautiful. I'm noticing a pattern on there too. Some flowers look like a bell. Flowers as food. Hummingbirds and butterflies get food from flowers. Let's take a closer look at our hummingbird there. He's going there for the nectar. And here's our butterfly. But not only those feed on the flowers, we also have our bees. Bees get food from flowers as well. You see it there? Take a little closer look. It's getting the food that it needs. Plants need flowers. Flowers make seeds, seeds grow and become new plants. So if we take a look at this seed here, you can see that it's starting to sprout some roots. And there's, there's more roots here and, and, and then the stem is coming out, it's emerging and you can see some leaves as well. Now, Kinder friends, do you remember how I mentioned the glossary? Well, here is our picture glossary at the end of the book. And all those bolded words that we read are here. For example, pattern. And it goes on to help us understand what that word means. Colors, shapes, or lines that are repeated. Petal, part of a flower that is often bright in color. And seed, part of a plant that new plants grow from. So we've come to the end of our book about flowers. I hope you've learned one or two new facts about plants and flowers in our book. And this week we'll be learning more about flowers. Goodbye for now.